about what could happen if England are facing a nation like a France, a Germany, a Spain, after what we've seen so far in the tournament? We're England, we'll beat them all. You'll beat them all? Yeah. You still think that England can win this tournament? England are real. Like, we're the best that, team in the world, but we'll beat them all. So you think that despite two not amazing performances, they can still bring this tournament, this trophy home? Oh, 100%. Or we'll be here otherwise. I think, you know, if you, you just play what's in front of you. And I think it was right to bring Trent off, but not because of his specific performance, but just because of the state, the game state, really. Do you think the experiment is over or will we see him in midfield again? I'd like to see him in midfield again. I genuinely do think that Trent does offer that, like, more excitement in the park. You know, he's willing to make that risky pass, which I don't think other midfielders are doing. However, I think when Conor Gallagher comes on, Conor Gallagher comes on, it's very much a case of we're going to shut shop, we're going to take the results and go from there. He did the same thing against Serbia, did the same thing against Denmark today. As soon as Conor Gallagher comes on, it's very clear we're going to go for the 1-1. So actually, I hope the experiment's not over. But I think as Danny was saying as well, I think it's a case of actually with Gareth Southgate, he does seem not willing to make those early substitutions, whereas actually I think it should be encouraged. It's very nice to see actually. He's making those early subs and he's getting those um, those new players in, which I think is needed to like freshen up the park. It's an absolute travesty. It's, it's, it's been, it's been a, a farce from start to finish. The guy is incapable of changing anything. Even when he does make a change, he still keeps to the same system. It, it's boring, it's mundane, there's no movement, there's, there's, there's just nothing. It looks like, it looks the same old England. Uh, my opinion was, everyone's giving Ferdinand a lot of slack for uh, not creating much. But I think everyone's getting like Luke Shaw's like a left back. You played Trippy at left back, he's a right foot player. He's trying to cut in all the time on the right foot. So he's getting his belly in. So like, Ferdinand's like, there's a whole side of the left midfield that's just yeah. not being used, basically. Like due to the fact we haven't got a left sided uh, left back yet, you know, so, you know, I, I, you know, it's a bit flat, we know we're going to go for the grips army, we know for the grips, we all know that, like, you know, we'll, we'll do the job, like, when it comes to the last season tournaments, when it gets a bit nitty gritty, the France and the Germans and the Italy's, we'll have to show back, hopefully then by then, and we'll come good. Would you like to see, you know, a Cole Palmer, Anthony Gordon, they did get minutes in the warm-up games, no minutes yet, or is that nothing to really worry about yet? I think Gordon, I think in the game against Serbia, I would have had Gordon for Foden at some point, maybe 20 minutes ago. Um, but I don't mind him trying out new players. As a, you know, he's had a great season. You just don't know he could get something out of nothing. Um, I think we'll see Gordon in, against Slovenia probably. But I, yeah, he's, he's a good option as well. We've just got loads of good options. What a great position to be in. So I mean? Yeah, I think, to be honest, we are so blessed with so many attacking players and actually to bring on a Cole Palmer off the bench is actually very 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 lucky for England so even if it's a case of actually for example if Bell uh, Bellingham needs to come off um, Palmer needs to come on that's absolutely fine I think it's just great to know that we have those players that we can bring on but I think also as well Southgate did say they're not substitutes they're finishers aren't they and so actually if it's a case of those players <laughs> like come on to like finish the game off that's absolutely fine. I think Gav Southgate has a clear plan. I think it's just for us to trust him and hope it works, to be honest. So is there anything different you would like to see going into the final group game? Um, I think it will be, I mean, we, we need to win it really. So, because we can't rely on other results. So I think you'll probably still pick the same 11. He loves, he loves just picking the same 11 and then go from there. And then you just decide it in the second half. Like today, he decided early on to change it. Um, I'm happy if he starts the same and then we might see, yeah, Palmer, Gordon, um, yeah, but he might rest a few potentially because it might be a weaker team against Slovenia, but yeah, if we know a win's good enough, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah I, after we scored, I completely agree. We, we thought there might be a bit of a reaction in the second half, but again, they even got, they got worse. They didn't get better and that's a sign that the manager's lost. The, they're playing at the moment. Like they want that guy out tomorrow. The manager, you mean, Southgate? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. They, they, they don't want to change things. The, the, the shining light is that cause the, the Palace guy, guy at the, at the back. The rest of it has been awful. Nothing came down the left side, and I don't blame it. You've got a trippy who's playing left back, and he's a right-footed player. Foden doesn't see anything. He sees a glimmer of hope in the first half. 
And then he goes quiet for the rest of the game. He, he can't, he can't stick him out there. He's England's best. He's England's biggest spark. What? I could be wrong, but I think Gareth didn't bring on a fifth substitute when we are able to. And I always do wonder why that's the case. I think, if anything, particularly He's if it's. Go. He's got to go. <laughs> Get him out. I'll come to you. Get him out of club. I'll, I'll come and chat to you in a minute. Yeah, I think it's a case of we've got those options that we could bring off the bench. Why not bring him off the bench? I think Gav's got a clear game plan and that's fair enough. But I don't know, to the, to the rest of us, it feels a bit, why not? Yeah. And is it coming home? Uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, it's coming home. Yeah, why not?